Did you know you can customize your presentation agent? Well, let me show you how. Hey Jetformers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly and like I mentioned, if you have already created a presentation agent but you want to change a few things, you absolutely can. So as you can see, I'm currently in the desktop version of my workspace and I'm going to use Julie, our customer experience advisor. I'm going to go ahead and edit our agent. And as you can see, we landed on our build tab and we are currently in channels in our presentation agent. First, I'm going to go ahead and change it over to our player style and let's take a look at the gear icon right here. Now within this setting, we can change our agent's voice. We can customize this to sound exactly how we want it to sound. So if we go to change, we have the ability to choose language, accent, gender, and age. Let's choose British and we'll choose Lily. Jotform AI agents are powerful tools that handle top. Perfect. We can go ahead and use her and we can see now we are now over here with Lily. Another thing that we can customize from this menu is going to be our navigation. This is going to be the section that's down here at the very bottom of our presentation. So if we want the presentation to automatically start playing, we need to turn that on. If not, there's going to be a play button that your users have to press in order to start the presentation. We can even turn on and off, ask questions, skip slides, the slide panel, as well as the chat panel. So if you do not want any of these checked, make sure you do that here. All right, let's go ahead and jump over to our slide presentation. From here, we can view all of our slides and you can see as I go through, each slide has its own edit slide option. So if I click on edit slide, we have two different options here. We can change the slide layout. So if I would prefer this dress to be on the right hand side, we can do that. We can even click on this image of the dress and we can change the image. We can give it another idea of what we want that to look like. Then we can choose to regenerate that image. If I X out of this, Let's go back into edit slide. Then down here at the bottom, we have the edit slide. So if we want to change how this pulls, we can absolutely do that. Over on the left-hand side, if I want to change any piece of this, all I need to do is click on it. Then on the right-hand side, it'll automatically populate. So that way I can edit that description. Another thing we can do from this is we can edit the script. So if I, let's say I don't want this sentence, we can completely delete that out. And let's say we want to add something else. We can add that to the end. Now, as of right now, we're doing all of this in the build tab. We can also do this in the publish tab. I'm going to head up to publish. Then right here, we can click on these three dots. We can edit the scripts and we can also edit the slides from here as well. One last thing I wanna show you is how to edit your agent's image. So if I head back over here to channels and we do standalone, we can see here this is what our AI agent Julie looks like. If I click on the paint roller, I can choose a different avatar or I can type in what I'm looking for and it'll generate something for me. So let's say maybe I would prefer a mascot or maybe something different altogether, we can absolutely click on any of these to change our avatar. And it's as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to customize your presentation agent, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get a notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.